guys, today I just wanted to do a fun video, so I decided to film a tag video. And I was tagged by Kat Von Mason on Twitter to do the most worn, most worn tag summer edition 2012. So, basically if you're not familiar with this tag, it is 11 questions, yeah, 11 questions about your most worn fashion items, makeup, beauty, hair care products of this summer. I thought it'd be fun to do. So let's get started. The first question is what is your most worn nail polish? And being the indecisive individual that I am, I came up with three. So um, I don't know, to pick one nail polish, especially in the summertime, is very hard for me because I like to switch it up with a lot of bright colors. This one is Essie Mod Square. This is probably one of my all-time favorite pink nail polishes. Nail polishes. <laughs> and this is the Maybelline Color Show Polish in Green with Envy. I Every single summer I always wear turquoise nail polish. It's definitely my favorite. It's been my favorite nail color for the past probably three summers. There's something tropical about it and beachy, but it still really stands out on your nails, I think. And this is the one that I've really been loving. So again, that's Maybelline Color Show Green with Envy. And then another color that I am just, I'm really drawn to really bright coral colors in the summertime. So this is Essie Peach Daiquiri Nail Polish. So yeah, I would say definitely these three have been my top worn of the summer. So the next question is, most worn hair product? So I would have to definitely go with my Paul Mitchell Smoothing Super Skinny Serum. That's a mouthful. But this stuff is incredible. I have been using this for a really long time. I would say even on my long hair, probably half a pea size amount of this stuff does wonders to control frizz. It adds a ton of shine and it just makes your hair so silky soft and it also really cuts back on drying time. So a lot of times in the summer I'll just let my hair air dry, but when I do want to style it and use the blow dryer on it, it helps so much to have a product that really cuts back on that drying time because in the heat of the summer it gets so hot and you start to sweat and you know the less time I can have my hair under the heat of the blow dryer the better so moving on the third question is most worn bag and I would have to say hands down it is this little flower bag it's like it has a long it's almost like a crossbody has a long strap. It's kind of an, a metallic olive green color and my mom actually gave this to me and I could not find I could not find a brand name inside but I have seen these all over the place. A lot of different brands make these type of bags with the little florets on the front and you can, I've even seen them in clutch form and a bigger handbag form and I just really like this one because I just carried it everywhere with me this summer. It was so nice to just have a smaller bag to throw necessities in and, you know, my phone, a lip gloss, money, ID, that kind of a thing, instead of carrying around my bigger uh, Rebecca Minkoff bag. I can't even tell you how much use I got out of this, and it was kind of a hand-me-down, so that was kind of funny. And the next question is number four, most worn shoes. I talked about these sandals in my July favorites. These are my Libby Edelman, they're braided, strappy sandals. I found these at Marshalls. They were an amazing investment because I lived in these this summer. I seriously wore these everywhere. And I really like them because they're just very minimal. So they went with pretty much every single outfit I tried to pair them with. They, I think that's when I wear something a lot. It's because it just works with a lot of different either, you know, outfits or accessories or that kind of a thing, and these definitely did. And I just felt they were very summery because they have that texture with the braiding, the braided strap, and the color too. It's a very natural tan color, and I just felt like nature girl when I wore these, even though it couldn't be farther from the truth. So number five is, what is your most, what was your most worn accessory of the summer? And mine was a tie between my Egyptian necklace from Forever 21 which I just wore constantly. I love this so much. I really like the little pop of color with the turquoise stone and it just has a lot of detail. The pendant has a lot of detail for being from Forever 21. So I wore this all the time and it was a tie between this and my fedora, which I originally picked up in Cabo San Lucas, but this is by the brand Headers. You can kind of see. I've never, I've never really seen that anywhere else, but you can find straw fedoras like this 
pretty much anywhere. And I really like this one. It actually had a bow on it, which I thought at the time, I have to tuck these little strings back in, but at the time I thought that was way too girly, so I cut it off. And then there's also a little wooden skull. But I just love wearing this on the beach. Pretty much any time I'm in the sun, I like to protect my parts because it gets really sunburnt and also shade my face from sun damage. And a little tip, if you're wondering about hat hair and how I avoided hat hair, it's pretty much kind of unavoidable. But what I usually do is I'll part my hair on the opposite side that I usually do before I put my hat on. And then when I take my hat off, I'll just flip my hair over and part it back on the other side again. And it kind of avoids the hat hair situation and it gives you a little bit added, you know, a little bit more added volume than you had before. So that's just a little trick, a little summer hat trick for you. So number six is most worn clothing item. It was hands down this little tribal print romper. And I picked this up at Century 21 in Brooklyn. I talked about that store before. My friend Jess took me there and she turned me on to that store and we just went crazy in that place because it's kind of like Forever 21. It's more like some designer brands for anyway I'm going off on a tangent gotta go to the one in Brooklyn though because the one in Manhattan is more expensive and that's why I picked this up I really like it because it has little pockets and just a little shorts you know two top with shorts I wore this to so many different things I wore it to concerts I wore it just out at night just out and about it just really works for so many different so many different events and stuff like that and I love the print too I'm a huge fan of any kind of black and white tribal print. The next question is most worn foundation. So that one was another no brainer for me. It was the Hello Flawless custom powder cover up from Benefit and my shade is Never Settle Petal. I've talked about this in 5,000 of my videos. Just kidding. I discovered this one back in March when it first came out and I've pretty much been using it constantly ever since and you can tell because I'm pretty much out of it and I need to pick up a new one soon but I just really really fell in love with this because it gives you really good coverage for a powder foundation and I usually use a powder foundation throughout the summer day to day because it's just a little more comfortable and um, a little bit more lightweight but it gives you really really good coverage and the most amazing thing I've said this a bunch of times too but it just doesn't look like a powder on your skin it really doesn't it just it, it's just amazing it's a little bit more pricey but I just feel like I definitely got um, got my money's worth from this for sure this summer. So the next question number eight most worn blush and bronzer so again I feel like a lot of these I just didn't really have to think about this one is my Tarte mineral bronzer in Hotel Eris this is such a deep dark color perfect for the summertime super blendable just it's just a really ultra rich terracotta color never looks muddy never looks orange it's just perfect so I love that one and then as far as blush goes this is my cargo beach blush in Miami Beach and this one's actually kinda of broken the little pan came unglued from the metal container so I have to like press it back in there but this one is actually a combination of blush and bronzer and a little highlight shade at the bottom there so this one actually could have been I mean this is kind of a bronzer as well this is just so gorgeous. I feel like this replicates the look of a natural tan so well. Even though it has shimmer, the shimmer is very, it just comes across as more of a glow. It's like you've spent maybe just a couple minutes too long in the sun, but you still look really healthy and glowing. And it's just an amazing color. And I love the fact that you can use the darker colors to kind of add a more bronzy glow, the pinky shades for your blush color, and the highlight shade for your highlights. The next question is number nine, most worn lip product. This one goes to, the award goes to, my NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Perfect. That is pretty much what this is. This is perfect. I wore it all summer long and I kept this one in my bag all summer long, which is a true testament to a lip product for me. I feel like if I take it with me everywhere, I really love it. And I know that, you know, I can trust this one is never going to look crazy. I don't know. I feel like when you put on a bright pink gloss, it just brightens up the rest of your face. So it's like a peachy pink gloss with golden shimmer. And I just don't have to use a mirror with this one, which I really like. So I can just pop it on. I'm good to go. So again, NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Perfect. Number 10, Most Worn Mascara. Besides my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, which I probably wore almost as much as this, 
Um, but this is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Satin Black. I just love the wand. It's very easy to comb through every single lash and really get coated with as much mascara as you want. You can build up to um, a really voluminous long lash look with this one. I just love it. And I know you guys are going to say I'm crazy, but these some of these Maybelline mascaras have that crazy, almost like a... I can't even put my finger on what the smell is, but has that odd smell. I actually love the way they smell. I'm probably the only person on the planet that does, but... So the last question is number 11, most worn eyeshadow. And that one definitely goes to my NYX eyeshadow trio in Honeycomb. This little guy is the bomb. Basically wore this, took this with me everywhere, wore it constantly wearing it today. <laughs> I actually have a tutorial um, on this, my pink and gold tutorial. I used a bunch of colors from this trio as well. And I just really, really love this. Super blendable, has just the right amount of shimmer that gives you that nice summery, uh, shimmery bronze look. So, yeah. Def this is probably, this is the first one of the first NYX eyeshadow sets that I had tried and I was blown away, so impressed. So that does it for my most worn summer 2012 tag video. I'm going to tag a few people in the bottom bar to do this video if you would like, but also I tag everybody watching right now to do it as well. So feel free to post a video response to this video if you do end up doing the tag. It's fun. I think it's nice to also reflect back on, on the summertime and all the things that I really enjoyed um, over the past few months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.